Hi guys, I'm back. Today it's the 20th of February 2021. Today I'm going to read Job 16 to 20, Proverbs 20, and Psalm 53. Let's get started. Job replied, I've heard many of these things before. And I've heard many of these things before. All of you are terrible at comforting me. Your speech is going forever. Won't they ever end? What's wrong with you? Why do you keep on arguing? If you and I change places, I could say the same thing you were saying. I could make fine speeches against you. I could shake my head at you. But what I might say would give you hurt. My words of comfort would help you. If I speak, it doesn't help me. If I, and if I keep quiet, my pain doesn't go away. God has worn me out completely. He's destroyed my whole family. He can see the condition he's put me in. My thin body stands as a witness against me. God is angry with me. He attacks me and tears me up. He grinds his teeth at me. He stares at me as if he were my enemy. People make fun of me. Oh, they slap my face and laugh at me. All of them join together against me. God has turned me over to simple people. God, he has handed me over to Everything was going well with me, but he broke me into pieces like a clay pot. He grabbed me by the neck and crushed me. He has taken aim at me. He shoots his arrows at me from all sides. Without pity, he stabs me in the kidneys. He spills my insides on the ground. He smashes through me as if I were a wall. He rushes at me like a fighting man. I've sewed rough clothing over my skin. All I can do is sit there, here in the dust. My face is red from crying. I have dark circles under my eyes, but I haven't harmed anyone. My prayers to God are pure. Earth, please don't cover up my blood. May God always hear my cry for help. Even now, my witness is in heaven. The one who speaks it out for me is there. My go-between is my friend, as I pour out my tears to God. He makes his appeal to God to help me, as a person pleased to a friend. for a friend. Only a few years will pass by. Then I'll take the path of no return. My strength is almost gone. I won't live much longer. A grave is waiting for me. People make f- who make fun of me are all around me. They forced... I'm forced to watch as they attack me with their wits. But please pay the price to have me set free. Who else would put up money for me? You have closed the minds of those who are trying to comfort me. They don't understand that I haven't done anything wrong, so don't let them win the argument. Suppose someone tells lies about their friends to get a reward. Then their own children will suffer for it. God has made an example of me. People spam my face. My eyes have grown weak because I am so sad. My body is so thin that it hardly casts a shadow. People who claim to be honest are shocked when they see me. Those who think they haven't sinned are stirred up against me. They think I'm godly, but godly people will keep doing what is right. Those who have clean hands will grow stronger. Come on, all of you. Try again. I can't find a wise person among you. My life is over. So my plans are destroyed. Yet the desires of my heart turn night into day. Even though it's dark, light is nearby. Suppose the only home I can hope for is a grave. And suppose I make my bed in the darkness of death. Suppose I say to the grave, you are like a father to me. And suppose I say to his worms, you are like a mother or sister to me. Then what hope do I have? Who can give me any hope? Who will hope go down to the gate of death with me? Will we go down together into the, into the dust of the grave? Then build out the Shahite reply. Job, when will you stop those speeches of yours? Be reasonable. Then we can talk. Why do you look at us as if we're cattle? Do you think of us as being stupid? Your anger is tearing you to pieces. Does the earth have have to be deserted just to prove you're right? Must all the rocks be root? be moved from their places. Lamps and simple people are blown out. Their flames will never burn again. The lights in their tents become dark. The lamps beside those who are evil go out. They walk more slowly than they used to. Their own plans make them fall. Their feet take them into a net. <clears throat> they wander right into it. A trap grabs hold of their heels. It refuses to let them go. A trap lies in their path. The rope to catch them is hidden on the ground. Terrors alarm them on every side. They follow them every step of the way. Trouble would like to eat them up. Danger waits for them when they fall. They eat away parts of their skin. Death itself feeds on their arms and legs. They are torn away from the safety of their tents. They are marched off to the one who rules over death. Fire races through their tents. Burning sulfur scatter over their homes. Their roots dry up under them. Their branches dry up above them. No one on earth remembers them. Their names are forgotten in the land. They are driven from light into the place of darkness. They are thrown out of the world. Their family dies out among their people. No one is left where they used to live. What has happened to them shocks the people in the west. It terrifies the people in the east. Now you know what the homes of sins are like. Those who don't know God live in places like this. Job replied, How long will you people make me suffer? How long will you crush me with your words? You have already accused me many times. You have attacked me without feeling any shame. Suppose it's true that I've gone down the wrong path. Then's my concern, not yours. 
Suppose you want to place yourselves above me. Suppose you want to use my shame to prove I'm wrong. Then I want you to know that God hasn't treated me right. In fact, he's captured me in his name. I cry out. Someone ha- I someone someone harmed me, but I didn't get any, but I didn't get any reply. I call out for help, but I'm not treated fairly. God has blocked the lamps. Block my way, and I can't get through. He has made my path so dark I can't see where I'm going. He's taken my wealth away from me. He's stripped me of my own. He tears me down on every side until I'm gone. He pulls up the roots of my hip as if I were a tree. His anger burns against me. He thinks I'm one of his enemies. His troops march forward me toward me in force. His, they comfort me from every direction. They camp around my tent. God has caused my family to desert me. The people... The people I used to know are now strangers to me. My realities have gone away. My closest friends have forgotten me. My guests and my female servants think of me as a stranger. They look at me as if I were an outside. I sent for my servant, but he doesn't answer. He doesn't come. But he doesn't come, even though I beg him to. My wife can't stand the way my breath smells. My own family won't have anything to do with me. Even little children mock me. When I appear, they make fun of me. All my close friends hate me. Those I love have turned against me. I'm nothing but skin and bones. I have barely, I've barely escaped death. Have pity on me, my friends. Please have pity. God has struck me down with his powerful hand. Why do you chase after me as he does? Aren't you, aren't you satisfied with what you have done to me already? I wish my words were written down. I wish they were written in a book. I wish they were cut into lead, lead with an iron tool. I wish they were carved in rock for I knew that my Redeemer lives. In the end, he'll stand on the earth. Throw my... Though my skin will be destroyed, in my body I'll see God. I myself will see him with my own eyes. I'll see him, and he won't be a stranger to me. How my heart longs for that day. You might say, let's keep bothering Job. After all, he's the cause of all his suffering. You, but you should be afraid when God comes to judge you. He'll be angry. He'll punish you with a sword. Then you will know that he is the judge. Then so far, the Namath I replied. And my troubled thoughts force me to answer you. That's because I'm very upset. What you have just said dishonors me. So I... So, I really have to reply to you. I'm sure you must know how things have always been. They have been that way ever since human beings were placed on this earth. Those who are evil are happy for only a short time. The joy of ungodly people lasts for on, only for a moment. Their pride might reach or wait up to the heavens. Their heads might touch the cloud, but they will disappear forever like the waste of their own bodies. And you who has seen them will say, where did they go? And like a dream, they'll fly away. They will never be seen again. They'll be driven away like visions in the night. The eye saw that saw them won't see them anymore. Even their own families won't remember them. Their children must pay back what what they took from poor people. Their own hands must give back what give back the wealth they stole. They might feel young and very strong, but they'll soon lie down in the dust of their grave. Anything that is evil tastes sweet too. They keep it under their tongues for a while. They can't stand to let it go, so they hold it in their mouths. But their food will turn sour in their stomachs. They will become like the syrup, poison of a serpent inside them. They will spit out the rich food they swallow. Go will make their stomachs throw it up. They will suck the poison of the ser- of a serpent. The fangs of an adder will kill them. They won't enjoy streams that flow with honey. They won't enjoy rivers that flow with cream. What they work for, they must give back before they can eat. They wouldn't enjoy what they have earned. They've crushed poor people and left them with nothing. They've taken over houses they didn't even build. No matter how much they have, they always long for more. They will, but their treasure can't save them. There isn't anything left for them to eat. Of. Their success won't last. While they are enjoying good life, trouble will catch up with them. Terrible suffering will come on them. When they fill their stomachs, God will provide his great anger on them. He will strike them down with blow after blow. They might run away from from iron weapons, but arrows that have bronze tips will wound them. They will pull the arrows out of their backs. They will remove the shining tips from their livers. They will be filled with terror. Terrible darkness hides them away for their treasures. The God will send a fire that will destroy them. It will burn up everything that's left in their tents. Heavens will show their guilt to everyone. The, <clears throat> the earth will be a witness against them. A flood will carry their houses away. The rushing water will wash them away on the day when God judges. Now you will know what God will do to simple people. Now you know what he has planned for Proverbs 20. Proverbs 20. One causes you to make fun of others, and be causes you to stop fight. Anyone who is led astray about them is not wise. 
A king's a king's anger brings terror like the lion, so anyone who makes him angry may lose their life. Avoiding a fight brings honor to a person, but every foolish person is quick to argue. Anyone who refuses to work doesn't play on the right seats. When they live for a crock at harvest time, they don't fight. The purposes of a person's heart are like deep water, but one who has understanding brings them in. When you claim to have love that never fails, but who can find a faithful person? They should do what is right, live without blame. Blessed are their children after them. A king sits on a chair to judge. He gets rid of all evil when he sees it. No one can say, I have kept my heart pure, I'm clean, and I haven't sinned. The Lord hates two things. He hates ways that weigh things heavier or lighter than they really are. He also hates measures that measure things larger or smaller than they really are. Even small children are known by their actions. So is their conduct really pure and right? The Lord has made two things. He has made ears that hear. He has also made an eye that see. Don't love to sleep, or you will become poor. Stay awake, and you will have more food than you need. It's no good. It's no good, says the boy. Then off they go and brag about what they there's gold, and there are plenty of rubies. But lift that sheep now, which are a priceless jewel. Take the coat of one who puts some money forward to strange yours. Hold it until you get paid back if it is done for an outsider. For you gain by cheating, take sweet, but you will end up with a mouthful of gold. Plans are made by asking for guidance. If you say so if you go to war, get good advice. The person who talks about others tells you. So avoid anyone who talks too much. If anyone asks for bad things to happen to their father or mother, that person's land will be blown out into darkness. Property that you claim too soon will not be blessed in the end. Don't say, I'll get even with you for the wrong you did to me. Wait for the Lord, and he will make things right for you. The Lord hates ways that weigh things heavier or lighter than they will. See, those that are not honest don't please them. The Lord directs a person's steps. So how can anyone understand their own way? A person is trapped if they make a hasty promise to God and only later thinks about what they said. Our eyes can get rid of evil people. He runs the threshing wheel over them. The spirit of a person's life is the lamp of fuel. The... the it lights up what is deep down inside them. Love and truth keep a king safe. Faithful love makes his friends so cool. Lemon men are proud of their strength. Gray hair brings honor to old men. Blows and wounds scrub evil away. And beatings make you pure deep down inside. Psalm 53. Foolish people say in their hearts, there is no God. They do all kinds of horrible and evil things. No one does anything good. The God looks down from heaven on all people. He wants to see if there are any who understand. He wants to see if there are any who trust in God. All of them have turned away. They have all become evil. No one does anything good. No one at all. Don't they? Don't these people who do evil do anything? They eat on my people as if they were eating bread. No, they never call out to God for it. For help. Just look at them. They feel with her, even when there is nothing to be afraid of. People of Israel, God scattered the bones of those who attacked you. You put them to shame because God hated them. How I pray that the God who saves Israel will come out of time. God will bless his people with great success again. Then let the people of Jacob be filled with joy. Let Israel be glad. Now that's done, I should now do the Lord's Prayer. Please bow your heads. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as you are so forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.